is okay in the back. And we'll start with an opening statement from Coach and then we'll go to questions. Yeah, um, you know, first of all, I want to give all glory to God um, for the win today. And uh, as we are trying to learn to do that, regardless of the results, understand that we're blessed to be where we're at, to do what we do, and may not always turn out the way we want, um, but uh, we can continue to improve. And I thought we made uh, really good strides. Um, I thought the staff did a great job this week of identifying um, just small areas that we can improve in, and the team did a great job of buying into it. And um, so we're just, you know, just blessed, man. That's a huge win. Uh, top 25 team on your home court. And uh, now we got to pull in a box and move on to the next one. And this joke will always late to the party. <laughs> Else no, I'm, 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 I'm good. Yeah, he right, yeah, he here now, so I can sit back. <laughs> Who wants to start with the first question? Get that you guys can move that around. <laughs> Arthur, what is it when you see BYU <laughs> that gets you going? I mean, 27 was your career high when you were at Creighton against BYU, and now you did set it today. Uh, man, I couldn't even tell you. I just came out here with a. I came out to play today, uh, and I felt like I had a different aggression and. Like Coach said, it's the little tweaks that we made in practice and the stuff that we had to lock in on that would give us a better chance of winning. And I feel like the team as a whole executed it and made my job easier. Coach Pope said you're a three-level player, three-level scorer. Just talk about what was working well for you today. Uh, just getting to the basket, you know, I was able to shoot 12 free throws. Uh, and I feel like if I'm able to be aggressive and get downhill, like it's either going to be a bucket or a foul. Tyler, how much of a mismatch do you think Arthur can be when he plays aggressive like he did today? Um, as y'all can see, 28 and 10. Um, that's a every night thing could be for Arthur. And uh, when he's going, sometimes you just got to get out of his way and uh, just let him let him rock and let him cook. And um, uh, that's just what what he's capable of doing on any given night. And um, it's you know it's a bonus to have him on my side. And uh, you know it's a blessing to be able to play alongside of him. And um, I think he could have went and got 35, 40 if you ask me. And Jerm, I wanted to ask again about David. It seems like maybe some people, when they get removed from the starting lineup, might not take it the right way. He's really bounced back and found a really good role these last couple games. Do you think there's anything to that? That uh, I don't know. There's a turning point in this season there. Well, um, first of all, I, I don't know that it's a starting lineup. It's more of a like a rotation, right? We got seven dudes that are gonna play a lot and. So it, it doesn't really matter. And I try to stress it doesn't matter who starts the game, it's who finishes the game. Um, you know, with his um, injury, you know, he, he was winning tips for us. And once he had the injury, he couldn't jump ball. And so, you know, it gives us a better chance to have somebody else in there to, to win that tip for us. Uh, but Dave's maturity is what's allowing him to do what, what he's doing, that he doesn't really care. His name's called in the line. He just wants to do whatever it takes for the team to win because he understands that winning is going to get everybody what they want. Yeah, Coach, you guys went up by double digits before the first media timeout. How important was that? Yeah, you know, good starts, you know, and uh, there was a focus. And, uh, you know, we took, we took the type of shots we, we talked about in practice taking, and it gave us that opportunity. But, you know, they're a great team. Man. Them dudes can score, right? Like, they score in a variety of ways. So we knew it was going to be a game of runs. Uh, we just happened to have more runs than they did. And was once we got the lead, we, we were able to keep them at bay for the most part. Uh, Coach, Arthur obviously scored 28 season high. But how important was it that he did it on only 11 shots? Well, he was really efficient. He took the shots that we wanted him to take. And I mean, it says 11 shots, but like those free throws, right? Those were all him being aggressive going downhill and it doesn't count as a shot, but it counts as points, you know, and that's what we need. And that's something that we needed. Uh, we need from the whole team, but Art was, Art was really good today. He got, um, we had a, a Colonel come in and talk to us and he talked about, you know, when you're going on a mission or anything that you're going to accomplish something, you got to have purpose. You got to know what your purpose is. You got to have passion. You got to have relentless violence. And I thought Arthur was, had rel relentless violence today. And um, I, I really like that relentless violence, violence thing. Along with that, Coach, how much was shots falling today? How much was getting the right shots? 
But I think shots will fall when we shoot the right <coughs> ones. And today we shot the right ones. But it's a make or miss game, right? Like, I mean, we, we held Texas to, I mean, it was, it was a great defensive effort and shots didn't go in, you know, so it, you know, but making shots is important. But when we shoot the right ones, we, we can be really good. What was the offensively, the emphasis? You talked about shooting the right shots, mm -hmm. but it seemed like you were just really efficient in pretty much every area. So you want us to give you the secret <laughs> to what we did, and we got a game on Monday. Come on, man. I'm sure they're not that, That's a come on man, right? <laughs> no, but I mean, was, you, you talked about tweaking little things in practice. Was, were there, even without being specific, were there some things you identified that you thought you did better? Yeah, I do. I think we identified some things that, that we are capable of correcting, and the guys bought into it, all of them. And Arthur, you had, you scored quite a few the last game, but not nearly as efficient. What what did you think that you did better today than say in the Texas game? Uh, no, I was just letting the game come to me, and I feel like I had my teammates were doing an amazing job. And when TP starts out hot, you know, it definitely opens up the floor for me to get going downhill, and. I mean, it's just all thanks to my teammates for finding me in the right positions and putting me in positions to score. And those early threes, you think that? Yeah, um, no, nah, it's always good to see a couple yeah. of them go in. Facts, it is. Because I don't think you shot a three after that, maybe. It was. Nah, those early ones. I got a foul on one. Yeah. Yeah, but that's about it. Playing off of what Coach said about uh, having a purpose and a mission art. You guys didn't do the tunnel dance. I mean, you guys came out, you were ready to take care of business, and then, boom, here you go. Did you feel like you were a man on a mission today? Definitely. I feel like our mindset was different coming into this game. I mean, we got to play like a desperate team, and the fact of the matter is that we are. So we're going to give everybody our best punch. When you left Creighton, come to K-State, you sign up for K-State, were these the kind of games that you envisioned for, your, for yourself? Well, I mean, everybody envisions themselves playing well. Uh, I just, you know, had to buy in, you know, buy into what I had to do uh, in order to make this team win and help the team grow. And I feel like we're playing our best basketball towards the end of the year. Yeah, and how dangerous can it make you guys playing your best ball toward the end of the year? I mean, we're pretty dangerous. I mean, everybody has the same advantage, though. You know, teams start off, you know, and they start going throughout the school, throughout the season. And by the time the season's coming to its close, that's when teams are really playing connected and playing their best basketball. And I feel like we've been through a lot of ups and downs, and I feel like that's going to help us come closer together and be a stronger team. Uh, Tyler, I know Coach emphasized putting every game in a box, but just to get the win today, how much better does that feel than things have been going the last couple of weeks? It's always nice to win. Um, you hate the feeling of losing, and uh, it runs through our whole team. And, uh, you know, coach has been preaching. Um, we talk a lot about being desperate, but, it's, you know, it's time to do it. We can, you know, say what we want to do, but at the end of the day, we got to go out there and, and show that's what we want to do. And um, <clears throat> all the talking is done. And, um, you know, we need a couple more wins, and uh, that's what it's all about. And the big, biggest one is Monday. Biggest game of the year is on Monday. And so, you know, we got to focus on that one. we got a quick turnaround. You know, we don't have time for error. And Arthur, I also want to get your perspective on David. What's it like to get a guy who's given you, you know, really good production, three straight games coming in off the bench? I mean, David's just an amazing player. You know, for him to be able to go through the adversity that he's going through of not starting, but and you can see how that could affect some people. But for him to have that, that mental fortitude to be able to come out there and give us his best every single possession, it's like in these past games, he's been extremely efficient and he's been rebounding the ball, and that's what we need from him. Played West Virginia early on, but uh, how how different a team are they now? I know they were missing some pieces. Now they've got had that team together a little bit more. Is it how different a team are they than they were when you first played them? I, I got that. I got this one. Like we hadn't even watched West Virginia. Okay, like I, I watch basketball just because I'm a basketball junkie, and we got these guys trying to stay focused. We're gonna figure out West Virginia tonight and tomorrow.
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are your thoughts on it? It's important, especially <laughs> when, you, when you're playing for Coach Tang, you better know what it is. <laughs> you got to know what the first one this is. She for real didn't know? She didn't know. <laughs> you didn't see that? Mm. That was hilarious. Yoki was like plus 23. They said, what does it mean plus that Yoki's plus 23? And she's like, uh, I have no clue what that means. <laughs> well, it must be pretty good. <laughs> Coach, uh, the three-point defense, is there any kind of a secret to that? Is that, just a, is that just a hustle type of stat for you, being able to close out things? Um, <laughs> I tell them all the time with Big 12 athletes, and if they can't, like, help and then recover and do two things, then we recruited the wrong guys. And um, I, I give a lot of credit to Coach Dub, A-Dub, and Coach Yurk. Um, uh, the staff got together and put together a game plan that we thought could help us. Um, we tweaked some things from the first time we played them. Not a lot, because I thought we did a good job defensively the first time we played them, too. But to, for them to, they missed some stuff, right? First of all, they, like, they had some good looks that they just missed. So that was, thank the Lord. Um, but I thought, like, we made them miss some because of our, our game plan, how we guarded them. And so for them to only make six today, that was huge for us. Arthur, you had 20 and 10, but you also were able to show off a couple of passes at the end to David and Cam. How is it? How are those passes? How is it to also show that part of your game? So, I mean, we just play for each other. It's not really about how many points I put on the board. It's about how we win. And if they have an open lane or if they have a free bucket, I'm not going to hesitate to pass it them. <laughs>